and welcome to this week's Dolly Digest, where we will have a look back at two friendly fixtures for our Lancaster men's side, a Britannia International Cup appearance by the Dolly ladies, and some transfer news from the other clubs in the Northern Premier League. A week ago, a Lancaster 11 went over to Dalton United uh, to commemorate 50 years for Dalton in the West Lancashire League with a friendly. Uh, it was a one-sided result in the end for the Dolly Blues with the likes of Dom Lawson, Charlie Bailey, Brad Carroll, Jake Conley, Matty Clark and a couple of trialists on the score sheet. Uh, however, huge congratulations goes to Dalton for 50 years in the West Lancashire League. Mark Felside followed that up with victory on Tuesday evening against Fleetwood Town Development Squad. A 6-0 result, the outcome, after one of the best team performances in the last 12 months for a Lancaster side. Jake Conley opened the scoring uh, while I was looking the other way, and I barely managed to turn my head in time to see Brad Carroll head in the second goal for Lancaster. It's best to get these things out of the way in pre-season. A trialist wearing number 7, uh, Charlie Bailey. Another trialist, uh, this time wearing number 18, and Pat Allington scored the rest of the goals. Uh, you may have noticed Burnley Academy goalkeeper Lewis Forshaw keeping net for Lancaster in several of the pre-season friendlies. Uh, he is with us on loan until the 20th of August, covering for Andre Mendes three-game suspension, which has been carried over from last season. Uh, the Dolly ladies took part in the Britannia International Cup over in Chester last weekend. Uh, they emerged from Group B unbeaten after games against Liverland, Bangor women, Northwich Vixens and Tranmere Rovers women. That set up a semi-final showdown with the Blackpool ladies and despite a positive performance on the new managers Becky Upjohn and Paul Wynn Stanley, the score was 3-2 to Blackpool. Amid controversy, it has to be said, a couple of penalty shouts uh, that were close calls went against the Lancaster ladies. Uh, the actual winners were Tranmere Rovers. Uh, so it turned out that the Dolly ladies were the only team not to lose to Tramia during the day. They are representatives of the Northwest Women's Regional League Premier Division, a couple of tiers above Lancaster. A special thank you goes to Izzy Woodhouse, who came on Dolly Blue Sound in midweek. Uh, she did an interview at half-time with me just to talk about her experiences with the Lancaster ladies, her ambitions for the upcoming season. A uh, big thank you to Izzy. A date for your diary and open training session for Mark Fell's squad will be held on Tuesday the 8th of August. It's free entry from 6 till 8pm. Uh, the bar and Dolly's Diner will indeed be open. A manager Q&A will take place, so do submit your questions online. Uh, there are some uh, links in our Twitter and Facebook pages. Uh, there will be 17 sport merchandise and replica kits on sale. Uh, just checking in now with the other teams in the Northern Premier League. Uh, Marine have continued their strong recruitment over the summer. Uh, they've signed the former Lancaster City goalkeeper Felix Goddard on loan from Blackburn Rovers. Callum Chippendale has signed a new contract with Geisley. Uh, I suspect that they will be a better side than we saw last season. And there's not a lot of chatter about Bradford Park Avenue. Uh, they're the only team relegated into the Northern Premier League Premier Division for the upcoming year. They made three signings this week. Uh, Mason O'Malley, last from Scunthorpe. Will Lancaster from Barnsley. And Zach Kersey has been promoted up from their academy. Now, I know a fair few were anticipating and looking forward to seeing former Premier League striker Leroy Leiter this season. Uh, but the former Reading man has moved on from Ilkston Town. He has joined Nuneaton Borough. Thank you for joining me on Dolly Digest. If you can't make it to Clitheroe later today for our final pre-season friendly uh, Dolly Blue Sound will be on air from 2.50pm on MixLR, uh, kick-off at 3pm over at Shawbridge.